Do you want to find out how we built this smart mirror and made it PoE powered? Keep on watching this video to find out how. Welcome to the final installment of the PoE powered smart mirror video series. In part two, Jeremy and I install the software, go through a little bit of coding trial and error, but then finally get to see the mirror come to life. Let's see how it went. To kick off the software process, we downloaded Raspberry Pi OS 32 with desktop bit. Now this did take a while to download, so you might wanna do this ahead of time. Your micro SD card needs to be imaged using a disk image program, and we decided on Win32 Disk Imager. A 16 gigabyte sized memory card is plenty of storage space for this type of application. Since Magic Mirror is actually designed to be used with Raspberry Pis, it is Linux based. Since we decided on an open source platform, our first step was to download the latest version of that software. Using this pre-designed software worked out well for us, but you're absolutely welcome to code the system yourself without using a specific program. Once the software was downloaded and cloned, we can check out the modules from the repository to see what information we want the mirror to display. This is the repository with modules that you can code to your mirror. You'll see there are options from currency exchange, international news feeds, and even Wikipedia snippets. The screen capture did stop working on us temporarily for this part of the process, so we had to improvise. Here's where we ran into some hiccups. Even though Magic Mirror gives you a great basis and platform you need for the settings on the mirror, you do need some basic knowledge of coding in order to get the actual apps you want to appear on the screen. I say that because if you add a capital letter where there should have been a lowercase, or forgot to close a bracket, or even added an extra character by accident, the program will not accept the code and your program will not run. And unless you know how to read the error code specifically, you may not even know what needs to be fixed. Once the code is copied properly and in the right format, it should run smoothly and open up in your mirror interface. The default option when we downloaded Magic Mirror greeted you with this great compliment and had a headline from the New York Times. For a quick overview of what the back of our mirror looks like, here are the guts, or I like to call the brains of the operation. On the far left, we have our Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the GAF Pi hat. We are powering the Raspberry Pi with a PoE injector on the RJ45 connector. We also have our HDMI cable connected to the laptop main console to get the program we just ran appear on the screen. Powering the laptop screen itself, we're using a PoE to 12 volt splitter. We did notice some issues controlling the laptop and getting it to power all the way, so we later switched to a higher powered splitter with 25 watts available. It was still PoE powered though. We also have the LED strip lights connected to one of the USB ports on the Pi. As briefly mentioned in part one, if you went with the purpose-built Pi screen, you may not have all of these same connections, but you can still power your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or 4 with PoE using the GAF Pi hat. Once everything is connected, your screen should turn on and look similar to ours. Then you'll just run the basic command to start the installed program from the Pi into the terminal and watch your smart mirror come to life. Our first line of command shows Magic Mirror because that's the program we used. Yours might look different depending on which platform you chose. And here's our final product. We decided to add the date and time, a calendar of our nationally observed holidays, a weather app, and we did code an option to say hello world at the top of the screen. My personal request was to add my daily horoscope at the bottom of the mirror. Here's a still shot of the mirror with the LED lights on. Now I'm sure some of you have seen the Reddit posts or memes of how impossible it is to get a picture of a mirror without having your reflection. Well, now I get to be a part of that. If you are interested in more details on this project, there will be a link to the Smart Mirror landing page in the description. Thank you so much for watching with us today. This completes the PoE powered Smart Mirror video project. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. 
and be sure to hit that bell icon that way you can be notified every time we upload. Is there a video project you'd like to see us do? Just leave us a comment down below. And as always, please be sure to check out our other social channels too. We post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and now Amazon. See y'all next time.